There is this lady who said, we've been married seven years, and she said the relationship is very cold. There are no hugs. Um, there's nothing that is just happening. The husband is not changing even after they have spoken, you know. And uh, you guys had your own views in there. Yeah. During the break, what were you saying, Douglas, during the break? Yeah, what I was saying is uh, they need go, to go back to the initials. There's a place they all got lost. It may not be the man who is called, but there's a place whereby all of them lost track. So I think the best thing they need to do is, like, uh, there's a time we had an issue with a, another couple. So we told them, do you know what? Just go back to the dating time. So the things you used to do during dating, now employ them. And the man do the same. So don't bring in new tactics or new way of sending love but, to this man. But a relationship needs new tactics. New tactics, yeah. <laughs> so that it can be fiery and... Yes, but you see, what you're bringing in is, is a bit technical for me. But you know what, if you bring in the simple things we used to do, yeah. if you used to, I used to come home, maybe uh, just, just give me a cup of tea, or there are few things you used to do during dating. So go back to the initials, and then know why you people got lost. Definitely find the truth. All right. So if, if she used to, for example, let me use your example. Yeah. You know, he used to come back home uh, and then there's a cup of tea. But now she feels that this is my hobby. You know, with the dating, again, depending on people's values, mm. value systems, some people were told during dating there's certain things you don't do. Mm -hmm. And then now she's in a relationship, or she's in a marriage. Married, yeah. Um, some people would have avoided getting very intimate when they were courting, but then now she's in a marriage. So if you say, go back to what you were doing when you were dating then, maybe that's where the man is comfortable yeah, at. Yeah, the man got comfortable. <laughs> like, he's already got the, the, the woman. The so. main thing is go back to the initials. Probably the, 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 the first, we call that the honeymoon stage of marriage, that things used to do that this man used to respond very well. Probably, yeah. probably there wasn't. And the lady kept on hoping for he seven will years. change. <laughs> for seven oh, years. That's where communication comes in again. Like. But again, she said, you know, she said, we keep on talking about it, mm -hmm. but then she doesn't. He doesn't rather. He doesn't, he doesn't wow. do what we have agreed. Back, yeah, yeah. Um, so he got comfortable then. Maybe, maybe, you know, she, she met somebody who is not very affectionate and then she thought he will yeah. change along the line because every other thing, maybe he's got an 80%. <laughs> He takes care of me, he respects me, he pays bills, he does all of that. Yeah. Then she felt the other ones we can work on. Yeah, um, probably. Then it's seven years and that little, it's, it's just not working. There must be some fire somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That we can't say that there's no fire all throughout. And also yeah. she, might have, somewhere. she might have seen something out there that she wants and that she doesn't have in here. So yeah. she might have seen maybe another couple or she's watched something that makes her feel like, hmm, I would like that. I've not had that, yeah, uh, husband, you know, yeah. and maybe before she never really paid attention to it anyway. And now she, she's seeing it and she wants it and she's never had it before. So she's thinking, wow, we don't even do that. We should do it. So one of the solutions also is start to study him. What things tick him, make him extra excited, make him, you know, ah, you know, more enthusiastic with everything and then do more of those things with him. And then, uh, you know, he will be like, wow, my wife is interesting. Suddenly she's doing things that I like to do and she wants to do them with me and she wants to go to those places with me. And then, you know, it might not necessarily be, you know, getting a new outfit and looking extra beautiful for him. Maybe there are things that he likes to do also. She can do them for him and he will kind of get the the picture there person. yeah okay let's say if he's not an affectionate man there are still some small things that he can do to make a woman feel appreciated and you know it's the little things that count maybe bringing i don't know okay bringing flowers is that too much <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if douglas shows affection to the wife then hang around there then he will not feel very uncomfortable uh, doing the same it will be a journey uh, but i think the lady has a very valid expectation yes uh, yeah. She need to be authentic yeah. so that she's not a copycat. <laughs> uh, whichever really way, no. whichever way, I think it's we very long valid. We for affection. We need it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we deserve years. it. Because where else should she go to get the hugs? If yeah. she start getting hugs from everybody else, people will say you're a married woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, like she's saying, it should be. You see, I might see it. Maybe you're doing it to your wife, but now as I'm introducing my husband to it, she'll be gradual. She'll not expect a definite change from my husband because that's not how she. My husband, or I'm related to my wife. So I might not bring it in because Pastor Chris is doing it to the wife. But now, like you're saying, let them hang out. Now, when they're hanging out with their friends, I'll be able to see this is how Chris is treating the wife. Then from there, I'll learn how to bring in affection to you. Yeah, but it should not be definite. All right. You know what you do, girl? 
get a bit naughty with that guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. just get a bit naughty so that yeah. all these walls will break down. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I yeah, bring, bring out something. Look for the kid in him. Look for the kid in him. There's always a mm. kid in every man. Mm. So you look for the kid in him. Leave alone the, the macho man who is over there. Find a way to the kid that is yeah, in that true. man.